Hey guys, Corey, Cars and Fun, and today I'm gonna to show you how to properly install a Wickerbill spoiler. I had a custom made Wickerville spoiler uh, from a guy in Puerto Rico. He does fantastic work. Now this install is specific to the Charger, uh, specifically the Charger SRT Hellcat, but the overall fundamentals of the install is gonna be the same on all cars. The few steps I'm gonna take about how to align the spoiler is obviously specific to this car, but you're gonna learn how to install a Wickerville spoiler for pretty much any car. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the different things you're gonna need. So now let's look at the things that we're going to need besides the spoiler, as you can see here. It came with its uh, own hardware kit, but I've got my own rivnuts, nuts, which I'm going to link to you because they are really, really strong. You're going to need a 9mm drill bit specifically for those rivnuts, nuts, which I'm also going to link for you. A 764 drill bit for your pilot hole, a Sharpie marker, some masking tape, as well as a drill and the Rivnut tool, which I'm going to link for you as well. And myself, I'm gonna be using uh, some JDM Speed washers and I've painted the actual hex screws black because I wanna have my own uh, thing going on. So it's pretty cool. But these are the things that you're going to need. So first, what we're gonna to wanna to do is use some masking tape. We're gonna to wanna to cover the backside and the paint with masking tape. This way we can not only mark where we wanna drill our holes, but we're gonna protect the paint and I'm gonna protect my carbon fiber vinyl. This way I don't scratch it all up. Now, once we lay the masking tape over, then we can actually tape and line up the spoiler itself. This way we can mark it with the Sharpie and then start drilling our pilot holes. Now, when you're looking at it, in order to line the spoiler up with the wicker bill, you're gonna use uh, the edges of the spoiler where it stops on the actual trunk lid itself. So right about there, it's just barely touching. And then right about here, it's a little off. So once you get underneath the trunk, you're gonna wrap the tape around underneath to hold it. This way, it's not sticking to the quarter panel in case you have to open the trunk. Plus it gives more leverage to the ends of the actual wicker bill. Just finished up taping everything and you can see that it's perfectly in position. We're gonna take the Sharpie now and we're gonna mark in the center of each hole against the masking tape. Now make sure to use the Sharpie very delicately in the dead center of the hole. Take your time, don't rush. Make sure it's centered in each hole. Then we're gonna take the 764 drill bit and we're gonna drill a pilot hole directly on where we marked it with the Sharpie, and then we can use the bigger drill bit to make the holes. So now um, I had some help from another EMC member, Damien, uh, help me hold this down so I could really fasten it as tight and as close to the factory deck lid and spoilers I could. Fine tip Sharpie, and we're gonna go very gently and take your time in the center and you're gonna mark dead center on every single hole. You wanna to try to be as close to dead center as possible. That's pretty dead center right there. Now in case you're wondering what dead center is, I'm gonna get this other camera. I'm gonna get up nice and close for you. See, there is the hole. 
I've marked dead center right there and that's going to allow me to drill that with a pilot uh, and then well that allow me to make a pilot hole out of that and then we can actually drill with the nine millimeter. Okay so now it's time to remove the spoiler and drill our pilot holes. I am pretty nervous considering. Uh, can take this off and you can just rip the masking tape. You don't really have to screw with it and make it perfect now. After you drill your holes then you can start making everything straight. But I highly recommend using masking tape for this job and not another kind of tape because it'll strip vinyl and could strip paint. I always use 3M. 3M make really good painter's tape. It's the only kind of tape I would use. My 764 drill bit. Make sure it's a 764. You don't want to go any larger to drill a pilot hole. So we drilled our first pilot hole. The masking tape will prevent paint chipping and it'll also prevent destroying your vinyl. Once the rivet nut's securely in, you'll be good to go. Remember to drill dead center on the marker. Start out very slowly. After you drill your first few holes, you're no longer nervous, at least until you get the big drill bit out and realize these are little holes compared to the ones you're going to be drilling. If your drill bit gets stuck, just pull it back and then go back and forward a little bit. Okay, so now I got the nine millimeter drill bit here, which of course this and everything else I'm using is gonna be in the information box below. So you guys will have everything right there. You won't have to shop around for anything. Everything will be in the information box. So check that out when you're done watching the video. Because we centered the dot in the center of the hole on the spoiler that was pre-drilled, then we drilled our pilot hole dead center on that. This actually has a tip on it. This drill bit I picked specifically because it has a tip and this pointy tip is a guide to go in the pilot hole so you're drilling the pilot hole perfectly centered with the bigger drill bit so your hole will be as close to perfect as you can possibly get it. Now if your spoiler didn't come pre-drilled then you're obviously going to uh, drill the holes in your spoiler first but it's going to be the same theory because it doesn't really matter who's drilling the holes, the people designing it or you you're going to pick where you want the holes on the spoiler and drill them first. So you're going to end up in this position where I'm at either way. So don't get frustrated if your spoiler that you're putting on your car is not a charger. If you have a Camaro or a Corvette or a Honda, it doesn't matter what you're driving. You can put the holes in your spoiler yourself. And then once you do that, you're going to start the install just like I'm doing on pretty much every type of Wickerville spoiler. So I'm going to start on this one here. You want to put the tip of the big drill bit inside the hole which is gonna give you as close to dead center as possible. It won't be 100, but it'll be very close. There we go, first hole drilled. That was a little rough because my drill's power wasn't on full. Push nice and hard. And you're gonna wanna make sure to tuck all this in, push it in, the riv nut will push in any of the vinyl, if you have vinyl or any of the paint, this way you don't have anything flaking out on you. This is scary. So now I'm gonna take off all the tape, leaving only the holes where I can install the riv nut. So you're going to want to take your finger just gently if you got vinyl. Even if you don't have vinyl, you want to make sure to, to push inward any debris. You don't want to pull off, especially if you got vinyl. Tuck in. The riv nut will push the rest in for you. This way, you're not actually going to be ripping up your vinyl or destroying it. I'm actually quite impressed, uh, you know, with how this worked and how it turned out with the vinyl. 
Now there are a couple of holes, only a couple, like maybe two or three that have a little bit of a ridge where the plastic came out. The riv nut must be completely even and flat. So I am going to get something to flatten this out and then we can start installing the riv nuts. I'm gonna use a socket and not a screwdriver. And there's reasons for this. One of which is it's shorter, but it also is round and smooth. So you're not gonna scratch nothing. Would never wanna use a screwdriver to do this. You're just gonna roll a socket over top of the hole to make sure it's perfectly flat. Because sometimes you'll pull back some plastic and it won't be flat and the riv nut will be crooked. Then your screw will have to go in crooked, which could crack something. So you wanna make sure everything is as perfectly flat and smooth as possible. And you're just gonna to wanna to roll this over the vinyl and or the spoiler. If you don't have vinyl, it's still the same thing. This way the riv nuts are gonna lay directly on the spoiler because if it's, like I said, if it's crooked, then the screw is gonna go in crooked and your washers won't sit flat and your car is not gonna look good. It's gonna, people are gonna notice that. So just spend a little bit of time, use a socket and go over the holes to make sure everything is perfectly flat. So here is the tool that I've linked for you guys. Uh, it's gonna come with the wrong size installed. It's gonna have like an M8 installed, you need an M6. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna use this wrench kit that it comes with. It's like a little key, has all the multiple sizes. You're gonna loosen this top nut, which retains it, and then you have access to, you know, push it down. You're also going to remove the bottom piece, uh, which basically just is sitting right here. You just pull this off. And then once you do this, you can actually press down and see how it's coming out the bottom and then you can twist it counterclockwise and install the proper one that's over here which is very easy and then you're going to use the appropriate uh, retainer nut on the top and then lock it in place and then once you do that as you can see i'm going to put it in so we're going to pretend that i just installed this and then we're going to lock it in place there we go got the proper size i'm going to clockwise then you want to line up the mark inside the handle to match the mark on the back see as we tighten this on the bottom after installing the top you can see right there that little mark that little indent right here is going to stick inside the handle and that actually turns the screw now. Now we're gonna thread our first riv nut. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to spread the handles out. So you want the handles to be spread out uh, just until the threads reach the bottom of the riv nut. So you can do it that way or you can turn the knob on the bottom while holding the riv nut, which is fine either way. And you'll see the handles start opening. They start spreading. So when you actually clamp them down, they'll actually crush the riv nut. And you want to check the top because you want to go until the threading itself is full right to the bottom. You don't want it to protrude out of the riv nut, as you can see. So you're going to keep turning until the screw is right flush with the bottom of the actual riv nut. You want them to be just maybe a little bit a little bit countersunk just a little bit where it's just below the tip of the riv nut so that should be good right there right at the end and everyone should look just like that and then what's going to happen is when you press it into the hole you're actually going to push these together gently and it's going to crush the riv nut so we have the riv nut tool and we're going to start with this one first and you're going to gently place it in the hole and evenly you're going to push it through and you don't want to push too hard. You just want to make sure it slides right in nice and snug. And you're going to feel it when it crushes. You want to go very, very gently and perfectly straight. You want to push forward and straight and just start gently and equally applying pressure while pushing forward at the same time. Once you've crushed this, you're going to basically counterclockwise on the knob which allows you to get your riv nut tool out. And as you can see, that riv nut is perfectly installed. We're gonna do the same thing for every one. 
Again, we're just going to go forward just gently and just start crushing it. And turn this knob counterclockwise and you'll be able to pull it right out and your rib nut is now installed. So now we can get our spoiler and we can start lining it up one hole at a time. We'll start with the center hole, which is right here. I forgot to mention that you're gonna need an Allen key to put these in, but it's basically just an M4 Allen key. I believe that's the size I'm using. Yeah, it's an M4 uh, Allen key. That's all you're gonna to need uh, to actually put these Allen, or like some people call them hex uh, screws in. When you install the end of the spoiler, the last one, it's going to be a little bit tricky. You want to just brace your hands and hold the wicker bill so that the screw has no stress on it at all until it's about halfway through. I finally finished and everything's installed properly. Now you will sometimes, depending on how you drill the holes, have to elongate and enlarge the hole a little bit on the wicker bill. This way you can line it up perfectly uh, with the actual riv nut. Everything here for me worked out very, very well. The only problem I had is that the plexiglass piece that's custom that goes from here to here, I couldn't install because the M6 by 16 millimeter uh, screws were not long enough and I had to order another set of M6 by 25 millimeter. This way they'd be long enough to go through and still grab the threads on the riv nut. And this is the plexiglass piece I was talking about. It actually just sits right here, but you already saw it at the beginning of the video. Uh, it sits right here. I just couldn't install it because the screws don't get here till tomorrow, but when they do, then I'll be filming that footage that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. But hopefully you guys found this review helpful and this install guide on how to install a wicker bill spoiler. I'm gonna put a link down there in the information box below to all the stuff you're gonna need to install the wicker bill spoiler on your Charger Hellcat or a wicker bill spoiler on any vehicle you have. Don't forget to support the channel in any video you watch. I have links to Goodyear, Amazon, Tire Rack, and other places below. If you plan on purchasing any tires, any parts for your car, any tools, and you already planned on purchasing them, please use the links to support the channel to keep the good videos, reviews, and car show videos coming. Don't forget to subscribe and share the channel with all your friends. I have a lot of content coming, reviews on really hot cars, the Dodge Demon, SRT Durango, uh, the Trackhawk Jeep. I also have reviews on many other cars coming between now and the next couple of months. It's going to be fantastic. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Corey with Cars and Fun, and don't forget, have fun and be safe.